confound it. How am I ever to get consistent characters for my Gemini VO3 videos? I've spent the last month figuring out the best way to get character consistency from Google's amazing VEO3 video generation tool. And while it's still not perfect, I'm really starting to like the outcomes. So for example, here's a man wearing a tuxedo in a couple of different scenes. Well, it's great to finally have dinner with you, but I'm immediately regretting the aged shrimp salad. I thought you were taking me to the zoo tonight. This place just doesn't smell right. And here's a woman wearing a wrap dress in multiple different scenes. Oh, hello. Nice watch, by the way. Does it tell time or just shout midlife crisis? And here's Abraham Lincoln in a bunch of different locations. That's all for now, gents. Got to take my leave. The curtain is rising. Lastly, we have the same woman wearing two different hairstyles. First, we can head over to this great little bar that I know just a few blocks from here. Again, these aren't perfect, but after nearly 100 attempts with these specific characters, the three methods I'm going to share seem to get the best results for me. Each approach has a different degree of difficulty, so we'll start with the easiest one first. Here's the most basic way to get a consistent character. Use a human with a covered face, or use a fictional character that is commonly available in the media. That's why you see so many Yeti videos and Stormtrooper videos on social media. Here's my attempt at a Yeti video, and I'll share the prompt with you in my newsletter, which is linked in the description. I actually grew up right around here. I took my first real beating from a grizzly bear right by that rock over there. Every time I start a campfire, I think about that song by Millie Vanilli. Don't get too excited though. This video only got 400 views on my TikTok channel. Other characters you might try include a medieval knight, a werewolf, an astronaut, a beekeeper, a SWAT team member, a soldier with a gas mask. You get the idea. The key here is that you're limiting specific facial features. However, you still need to use a lot of detail to describe the character and maintain that detail for each VEO3 generation. For instance, the medieval knight should be wearing black steel armor, then get super granular when describing the helmet by including details on the helm, the visor, the ventilation, visibility, as well as the bever. If you consistently provide those details, VEO3 knows exactly what you want. Okay, so here's approach number two. Simply use a historical figure whose face has been well photographed or filmed, or only photographed once or twice, so there's little possibility for misinterpretation across many years of photography. So Abraham Lincoln, Albert Einstein, John F. Kennedy, Jackie O, etc. Of course, be careful to avoid any people with copyright or brand conflicts. When you're using a historical figure, you'll want to ensure that there is no inconsistency with their outfits, jewelry, makeup, etc. I always err on the side of simplicity. If you have no jewelry, you have no chance of the video generator making a mistake in the next video generation of the historical figure. Regarding colors, I almost always have the character wearing all black or all white. For instance, a tuxedo or a black dress or a white long sleeve shirt. This way you don't run into color inconsistency from video to video. As soon as you ask for a gray outfit, you're gonna get one of, well, 50 shades. Sorry. And don't get me started with patterns. Any pattern, will be the death of your character consistency. Okay, so that's approach number two. As a side note, regarding increasing the number of video generations, it took me a month to create nearly 100 different generations with VEO3 because you only get three a day. However, you can use a tool called fal.ai, that's F-A-L.ai, I'll link it below, to pay directly for video generation in tools like VEO3, Kling 2.1, Runway ML, Gen 4, etc. However, each generation is expensive. It costs $6 per VEO3 generation with audio and $4 per VEO generation without audio. Okay, so before we start approach number three, again, this is not gonna be perfect. It's gonna be good, but there will be differences from one generation to the next. Approach number three. This one's a bit tricky, but you can definitely do it. We're gonna create an avatar from scratch so generating a completely made up avatar means there's tons of room for error. Step one, create an image of a character from scratch. Use ChatGPT, use Midjourney, use Leonardo, whatever you prefer to generate a character you like. Here are the rules for your generation. As I mentioned before, make the outfit super easy to replicate. A black wrap dress with V-neck like the one I shared earlier, a white polo shirt, a tuxedo, etc. Definitely no patterns. If you check the video of the blonde woman I shared earlier, you can see that she's got a totally different dress pattern from one video to the next. Don't make that mistake. No complex colors. If you need to risk a color, include the hex code for that color. 
Also, make sure the person in the image that you generate has no tattoos, no jewelry, no accessories, etc. These are just character elements waiting to cause variation. If you're creating a female avatar, you want straight hair with a very specific length and a very specific color. For instance, black shoulder length hair, platinum blonde chin length hair, or a very specific style like a bob or a ponytail. Hair is critical for consistency, and the second you add any type of wave or curl to your avatar's hair, you are gonna lose any hope of recreating that woman. When creating a male avatar, use the same approach, a very specific color and very specific style, buzz cut, flat top, ponytail, etc. Step two, take your image to ChatGPT. Add your image to a new chat, and then pick a model. I prefer model 03 or 04 mini, but just use whatever you can access. Then we're gonna use the following very long prompt. This prompt includes just about every detail you could identify in a human's face, from lip size and shape, nose shape, skin tone, eye detail, bone structure, etc. This full prompt will be included on my website, linked below, and in my newsletter, which is totally free. You can unsubscribe with one click because it's just too long to fit in the video description here. If you want to create the face description prompt on your own, don't worry, I got you. Context. I'm looking to create videos with text to video solutions like Google's Gemini V03 and Runway ML. Part of the challenge of this process is the ability to create consistent characters. I'd like to load a photo into ChatGPT and have ChatGPT fully describe the person in the image so that V03 can recreate the same person for each new scene. This will require extensive detail on all aspects of the subject. All right, let's move into role. You are a highly renowned forensic facial examiner and medical esthetician with more than 20 years of experience analyzing and describing facial features. Action, provide all the necessary visual aspects, attributes, and defining visual qualities that will be necessary to fully describe a person in an image such that they can be reproduced for text to video generation. Format, list the visual aspects of the face in logical categories. And target, of course, is Gemini Pro VEO3. Now, this craft prompt will actually fit in the video description, so go ahead and grab it straight from there. So now if we run it, let's see what we get. Hair, eyebrows, eyes, nose. That's great. Cool. Teeth invisible, ears, neck and shoulders, etc. Wonderful. I hope that prompt works for you. And let me know how it goes. You will need all of these details if you want VEO3 to come close to character consistency. Fortunately, the context window for Gemini Pro is huge, so you can add lots of details. This method won't work in Midjourney, Runway ML, or Leonardo, which actually now provides access to VEO3, because their character limits won't accommodate that much text. It will work in foul.ai, however. Step three, have ChatGPT write the result from the prior prompt in JSON format. Yes, I know, scary code. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation, and it's actually great for storing and exchanging data like this, which is why we're using it. Don't worry though, ChatGPT will take care of all this for you. And yes, you can try other languages like XML. I just happen to like JSON because I use it in other applications like make.com. To get the facial details into JSON, we're going to use the following prompt in ChatGPT. Please write this description in JSON format. Don't elaborate or create any type of story. Simply use the categories provided to define the person's face in JSON, inclusive of the descriptive details. Don't worry, if you don't want to deal with any of this, I've created a custom GPT that does step two and step three for you. All you need to do is add the picture that you want described in JSON format, and the custom GPT will take care of the rest. You can find the GPT linked in this video description. Once you have your avatar described in elaborate detail, give the avatar a scene, an action, and some dialogue. The script for the dialogue should be between 16 and 24 words. That'll keep it within eight seconds. Then tell ChatGPT to rewrite the JSON and include the scene, character action, and dialogue. If you use GPT Model 03 or 04 Mini, the changes shouldn't require any intervention from you. And finally, step four, copy the full JSON result and paste it directly into Gemini Pro 2.5. Then select the video button and wait two minutes for the magic to happen. Again, if you run out of Gemini credits for the day, you can use foul.ai, but it will cost you $6 per video if you're using audio. In the end, I'm confident Google will produce a version of VEO3 that allows you to add reference images to start the process. This will eliminate the need for all this extra work. You'll simply add your character in the different scenes and prompt VEO3 with action and dialogue. 
As always, you can catch my other AI and automation updates in the videos on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe if you're into this kind of thing. See you next time.